right now let's do the third page and I'm gonna be using the same uh, not the same but the color the uh, paper I used for the second page because I kind of like the design is simple and the major design of this page all right and now it's covered with paper and what we're gonna do is I already cut out a piece of four by five and write it down for you so you remember four by five paper and I'm going to make a packet out of this to do that I already cut out two four by one paper strip and one five by one paper strip all right and now we're going to make them um and we're going to make a packet out of this paper now if you have a uh, scoring tool you can take them out right now Now if you want to, you can cut them a bit shorter, a tap shorter, and then taper the edges, but you don't have to. It's just uh, what I like to do is to make sure that the paper strip don't really, won't really show and to make sure that they really are in there, you know, like they don't hang out of the packet or anything. So, um, just kind of look at the paper packet and go ahead and apply some adhesive. Okay, now we're going to put it here. Let's try to center, center it as much as we can doesn't have to perf doesn't have to be perfect it's handmade you know so it's okay burnish it really well though you want it to be stuck down really good if you can just take your bone footer and go in there even and burnish it okay now if you feel like doing something a little bit fancy, you can do it ahead of time, all right? Do it right now, it's not so smart, but I'm just going to show you, you know, what you can do. If you want to make it fancier, just take your paper punch and punch. Okay, and now we're going to make the things that's gonna go in there. And um, I want to make a flap thingy <laughs> so you can go, you can open and close. Let's cut, let's cut um, five, a five inch strip first. It needs to be five by eight. Square it at four. Fold it. Finish it. If you want to, you can stick the whole thing in there, okay, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, just put one side in. I think it's a bit, um, it needs to be a little bit shorter than five. So let's do four and seven eighths of an inch and see how that's going to work out. Okay, I think I put the um, packet thingy too close together. So let's do four and a quarter and that, four and three quarters, and that sure will work out good for us. Yep, this is, this is good. Okay, you can either do this or you can put this whole thing in there. Either way is fine. So I'm going to cover them with paper and I'll be right back. Hi everyone, so I'm back. Now um, you can see I have covered this packet with the paper and I've cut covered this little 
a flip book thingy with paper as well and I am going to just uh, leave one flap in there and then we're going to leave another flap outside okay just for fun you know and now now let's do the back side so I think I'm going to create a pocket a lower pocket like probably here and have some tags going in and then we're going to decorate the pocket I think that's what I'm going to do Okay, I think it's good. Just burnish it. All right, back. Now I am going to start to placing my flowers. And I'm thinking about using this cute little wood window from Sauce and Zibit Star. And maybe try to arrange my flowers around, around this cute windows. So I'm going to just um, put them onto the page first. back and as you can see the flowers are all on there now they're all pretty um, stuck down and I'm just going to use some inklings to color them and I want to keep the color theme of yellow and blue going and um, so yeah I am not going to alter the color too much the color theme I mean so I'm going to use this two color to color these flowers and probably a green because I think there's some like really light mint green in this collection as well so let's just um, put some water in there and start coloring dried and I think it looks really good now if you think it still looks kind of boring and what you can do is just take your white um, white pen white gel pen and you could go ahead either draw some um, foliage or do some dash line across the pocket so it has more to look at you know I think it just looks a lot better with um, the white color uh, dash line around it. And like I said, if you want to, you can go ahead and add some bling. I don't have bling, so I'm going to use the pearl pan to do this. You know, it's simple, but it still is decorated. You know, it's not like um, just plain paper elements. It's still kind of fun so yeah I think it looks pretty good got something stuck on there and I have two journaling cards here of course you can just put your photos in here it's a perfect spot for photos see like just say if this is your photo okay of course it's not gonna be that big but if it's a photo you can just put right in there and you will not fall out because the pocket is really it's big enough and it's tight enough to hold your photos into your journaling cards 
these two cards are just in there for the look sake, but you can you don't have to, you know, use them or just put your own photos in there. And I think it looks pretty good. So here it is, this page. Let's give it a review. Here is a photo mat. Here is a little thing you can take out. So you have four sides to put photos, to put your journaling on. And here is the other side. It's decorative, has a pocket. You can put everything you want in there. Like this page. Now, let's move on to the next page, which actually will be the last page. Now this page, I am not going to do too much to the back, obviously, because it's the last page. You know, for the last page, you don't, uh, you know, but I don't want the back side to be um, too bulky because, you know, what if you want to set it on a table, right? So, I'm not going to do something to do much to the back side. So instead, I am going to do quite a bit um, to, the, to this side. And I am not going to decorate this side too much either, just a little bit, but with some fun elements. Now let's choose the paper I want to use. I want to use this paper, and it's four and three quarters and a five and a half. Okay, so I am now, as you can see, the paper's already on there. So I am going to create a pocket here, and with a um, flap thingy. <laughs> So it has like a page you can go um, open and close, but still a pocket right here, and we can stick uh, photo mats whenever in there. And um, I'm thinking about making this pocket with um, a size of let's just measure it, do a little rough measuring here, because I think this piece is perfect actually. So let's see. I am going to make this um, four by three and a half. So this pocket here is going to be three and a half. And if we're going to add another um, page to close um, and open, then that's going to be three and a half and eight. So let's cut out a piece of car stuff that measures three and a half and eight. And eight inches. And then we're gonna go ahead and score at four inch. run of all the edges just for fun perfect and we want this pocket to be top open so we need to cut some strips to um, connect this part this part and this part all right So we're going to just cut um, some paper elements and just cover the inside here and outside here and I will be back after I did that. Okay, so I have already put on a pattern paper to cover this little element thing and I cut out a piece of um, car stock that measures five by three and a quarter. So I cut out a um, a, a pad of paper that measures four and three quarters by three. Now let's put this on there. Okay, so this is a little tag that's going to go in there like that. 
really fun, right? And um, what you can do is you could like punch a little thing, a uh, circle here if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to um, start to decorate this part, or I'm going to start decorate this tag, whichever I think you know looks good. And I think I'm going to go for the tag first because I'm not. This tag is really not for a um, really practical use purpose. It's more like for the decoration purpose. So I think I'm going to decorate this tag right now. Or well, not right now, but I'm, I am going to decorate this tag. That's what I mean. And I will put this, use this flourish. And this is from Saw. I love, love her wooden flourishes. They're so beautiful. They're just beautiful things, beautiful product. So nice. I hope she can make more of the wooden flourishes things. If you guys agree, you know, tell her that too. <laughs> I just love her wooden flourish. No matter how many she makes, as long as it's wooden flourish, I'll go buy those. Because those are just great for everything. Like literally everything. Okay, now I found those two um, clock needle and think it's gonna look good on uh, on this on this tag. So I'm going to just Glue them down. They're not gonna be um, movable. They're just gonna be stuck down to the page because I want the want it to be more of a decorating effect than a um, interactive element. Okay. And I found this cute little clock that. Uh, you can find in soft store is there's there's a lock set so there are many different beautiful designed clock thingy in there not clock lock lock thingy <laughs> lock thingy in there um, and this is one of them in there I'm not sure where I'm going to be using it but I think I will and I also take a Roman number out and this feather out just in case I want to use it and I will um, go ahead and grab some flowers like I said I want to make this album just fill with flowers since it looks you know flowers first of all it's simple to decorate second of all it looks awesome everything looks awesome with flower right so that's why I'm doing this is finished and here is the finished album and we're so happy now let's just take all the, our pages here and let's just find them all we're going to find them now are you excited I am really excited to be able to um, finish a mini album in two days. I'm really excited. Now, our finished album. I will do a project share and if you don't didn't watch the whole process, you can go ahead and just watch a project share. I will uh, show you everything on this album. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye.